Hello, hello. As you can hear, I have a very simple patch here. An ambient drone. One VCO triangle wave going through two filters. They are tuned to slightly different frequencies, highly resonant. Going through Valhalla Shimmer Reverb. And that's it. Now, I'd like to animate these two filters. But instead of going through a regular LFO route, slow LFOs, I want to show you something really cool. In my other video I, uh, about, um, about VCV Rack, I, I was talking a lot about building your own diatonic sequencer using Octavers. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this the very same object to do something completely different, to build that, uh, what I would call, ambient ramp, or very ultra-slow ramp. And here's how we do it. Octaver goes through some kind of scaling utility module. In this case, I'm going to use 8-vert. I'm going to set it to 0 0.0001, and later you'll realize why. And I'm going to go through that. And here is a very important step. You have to connect also this output of this Octaver to input. You can hold Command to do that. Don't worry, it won't explode. Now listen carefully what will happen if I turn it on. So as you can he as you can hear, I have I have a little solution here that allows me to go up or down, stop anytime I want, pause for a second, and if I go if I want to go down further, it's as simple as that. And as you can see, I have also different speeds. Like let's say I want to go up. This is slow, but it can switch to fast mode and regulate speed as I go. Um, and in, in addition to that, I also have a reset button. I know that you can't see the reset button, but let's say I, I you know, I'm already like one volt above and I want to go back to zero. All you need to do, do is lift that cable and plug it back in. Which means that if you if you do it quickly, you can you can simply just click on it. So it's a, essentially a reset button. Once again, and reset and we're back to our original location. So, what's going on here? Um, first of all, you need to remember two things. One thing is obviously, what is Octaver? It's, um, it's a module that adds voltage to incoming signals, and obviously if no nothing is patched in, it's going to generate um, constant voltage for us. Um, if I had something on the input, let's say I'm, you know, I'm going, this is one volt over here, then this will add another volt here. So it's very simple. Now, another thing you have to remember, and there's a little quirk in VCV rack. Every time you send a signal over a cable, it gets delayed by one sample. So now, what happens when when you plug this cable, this output, to the input. Right now, there's zero voltage going out and zero voltage going goes in, nothing gets added or subtracted. So the system is stable, right? We have zero volt. However, 
Um, right now, if I switch it to one volt, what will happen is this output will give me one volt, but this will arrive one sample later. Now, this one volt now will be become two volts, but that will happen on this next cycle and will be two and so forth. So now we have a sampling frequency 48 kilohertz, which means we will have 48,000 cycles per second. So we can expect that after one second we will have 48,000 volts here. And this is what, what we can observe. See, it's slightly over 48,000 um, volts. <laughs> Obviously, don't, uh, don't try to do it with your Euro rack. It won't work. Euro rack won't explode. It will just cap those voltages at probably like 12 volts. But interestingly, in VCV rack, we don't have this limitation. So we can go as far as we, uh, as we want. This will keep going until we reach a, uh, slightly above 4 billion, 4.2 billion volts. Uh, and that corresponds to 32-bit value. Now, I honestly, I'm, I'm suspecting it has something to do how with, with how this module is built, and probably only Andrew Bell could really tell us that I think it might have something to do with um, floating point arithmetics or something like that. And um, when you reach that value, you can either go back or you can override it and go further, and then after a while it will stop again and go further. So that's a, that's a little quirk. Now, obviously, we cannot um, use those massive voltages on, or on any o of our modules, but that's not a problem, right? Because we can just put any kind of scaling on the way, and um, it's up to you what value you want to have here, but you know, easy to remember 0 0.0001, and you can tweak it, um, you know, later you can create um, different value, uh, different different scaling values, uh, slower, faster, uh, it's really up to you. And another thing uh, to keep in mind is uh, because we have one extra input that effectively controls speed and direction of this ramp, you can actually, if you if you have some imagination, you can create more complex systems that are self-regulating for those long ambient sessions. <laughs> 